Every single day when we're driving, we encounter utility infrastructure. We pass dozens of them all the time when we're driving. We can see them when we're walking too, but we hardly ever notice them anymore. We become accustomed to them. These utility poles are in this narrow strip of land that we call the public right-of-way. The public actually owns this land, not the homeowner, and it's reserved for utilities like these. The utilities might be hidden in the ground, maybe they're wooden poles above ground, but more often than not, they're metal. Sometimes they're even a pedestal. They all have a couple things in common. First, they're there to serve you with lights for your street, power, cable television, internet and phone service for your home, and even including some service for your cell phone. A new kind of technology that will help improve cell phone data coverage is going to get deployed in many South Dakota communities. It's called a small cell pole, and this is what it looks like. Their purpose is to improve the service of our most used devices. We're all using our cell phones more to surf the internet, watch videos, and text photos and videos to friends. Soon, you'll be able to text photos and videos even to 911. That's why these poles are so important to make these devices work. In fact, the FCC says these are critical infrastructure for today's world. SDN is working with Verizon Wireless to put up 50 of these initially, but there will be more to come. And really, they're no different in height or size than a flagpole or even a light pole. And like all other utilities, they'll go in the right of way. And before long, you'll pass by them and not give them another thought.